blow And my skin has a deadly hue There's a spring in my step As I walk all over you There are flames embracing me everywhere I go Your eyes look up at me But I'm from down below My heart beats one each time a man hurts another Because that's how your soul is dragged into my world I torture you during the day and you can't escape to sleep I give you constant nightmares and you still hope for a dream My evil laughter moves mountains and it stirs up the oceans And my angry cries are answered by furious thunders You do as I say, and so does the rest of the world I can paint the moon black and make the sun shiver Take one last look at the sky before you lose your freedom You'll never see it again, but you'll always be warm My touch will imprison you And my kiss will seal your fate You keep talking about love But I only know how to hate Step into my world And smell my self-perfume Look deep into my eyes So you can see your own tune Lean closer So I can whisper Your worst fears in your ear Don't even try to escape now The door has disappeared And the question is Do you know who I am? Would you rather not know Or do you want to guess? I wonder why you're feeling so powerless If there is a devil She must have the face of a goddess. In the mesmerizing hourglass 
you know that her divine symmetry is the battlefield of Satan and God. Dreams. On 
the dirty smooth to be the next of the menacing curves of my hair looks an even more dangerous for it dark as a black hole my face is a cunning trap my body is your shrine your soul is a sacrifice When you don't treat a deadly woman right, you make Botticelli's Venus and Moro Salome cry, and you keep hearing the weeping of Delilah until the minute you die, depriving you of a single moment of sanity and peace of mind. When you break the heart of a femme fatale,
This next one was inspired by the Roman tale of Echo and Narcissus. I believe that every woman has to look Narcissus in the eyes, at least once in her life. And she always recognizes him. Stroll in search of tranquility. Yearning to soothe my soul, I came upon a pristine spring. Away from all the noise, far away from the city. No one had heard my voice for a long, long time. I decided not to say a word. For I'd once used language so cunningly, my speech got me into terrible trouble. I was punished by being deprived of my ability to express my thoughts, but the evil woman let me keep my voice. And since then, I've only been able to echo what others have said. I'd rather be deaf or mute But I wasn't allowed to choose On my peaceful evening stroll I came across a man named Narcissus Narcissus, 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 Narcissus He didn't see me at first But I couldn't take my eyes off him I had no means of catching his attention, but every piece of me and for his kisses, 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 kisses. A human statue sculpted to perfection with a captivating aura and energy matched by no other, no other. My soul was flooded with the most intense passion, 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 passion. And I couldn't help but follow him into the dark forest of grim trees, a forest of childish confusion and bitter tears. of giving voice to my thoughts of admiration. I couldn't even say hello just to see that divine countenance acknowledge my earthly presence. I could not have been so bold as to reach for that precious hand which I felt could play sacred chords that would resonate deep within my soul. But I'd have certainly let him hold my hand had he ever wished to do so? My steps on dry leaves did not remain unheard for long. Being unable to speak, 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 speak. Any words of true meaning, 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 meaning. Shall I still reveal myself? Is there a chance he'll understand me and feel the same way? I did not dare, 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 dare. But then he turned around and said, who's there? I repeated helplessly on edge, who's there? to throw myself in his arms, propelled by fiery desire, 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 desire. But he escaped 
from my embrace And he nod by the spread To admire himself instead Just like I'd been doing I knew my disability Would lead me to the grave Grave, 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 grave Cursed into this endless silent night I could not stay I was eaten by my own fire And only my echo remained Remained, 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 remained Thank you very much Actually, the very first time I'm performing with a full band, so it's a really special evening for us. Um, this is the last one we're going to do. It's called My Apocalypse, and it was inspired by an anecdote about Robert Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer was the leader of the Manhattan Project, which invented the atomic bomb. According to this anecdote, when Oppenheimer witnessed the first ever successful nuclear explosion and saw the cloud, he was overwhelmed with emotion and he quoted the Hindu scripture, Bhagavad Gita, saying, I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. <laughs>
you very much. My name is Greta Aurora. This is Carlos, William, and Jack. Uh, if you're interested, please check out GretaAurora.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. <laughs>